Hey, everybody, we're live at Pace Studios right now with Elijah Wolf. Elijah, thanks for being here, man. Good to see you again. Thank you. Yeah, really good to see you. Thank you. Yeah, man. Um, uh, so you're going to do three songs today, and all of them are off of On the Mountain Laurel Road, which is mm -hmm. out right now, and it is out on vinyl right now as right. well, which is a new new development. So congratulations on that. Thank I'm you. Sure Thank you so much. To hold the physical thing. It's so cool. It's I like held it for like 20 minutes when, I, when we first got it and just stared at it. Good. And then I listened to it. As you should. Like and it times. is out in the world and it is available at Union Pool tonight because at Union you guys Pool, are playing there. Aside. I'm sure there will be a suitcase full of them and yeah. uh, that's happening. Yeah. Um, dude, thanks for doing this on show day. Um, and can you tell us what you're going to start out with? We're going to play December 1st, which is the very first song on the record. And it's a very nostalgic record about growing up and some of the things that I went through while rating the record and dealing with, dealing with a lot of it. I pulled all this nostalgia up and went through all this different stuff. So this is the song that kind of takes every single song and puts a little bit of each one in every verse. So this is the whole record in one song. All right. <laughs> Now here I stand At the gates of an old church I tried, I tried, I tried But never hard enough Feet in the sand Of the cold and the mindless I offered you a hand But never thought of you Tell them what you want your mom of three, but now you're not alone. Here I am In the fall line I heard you wanted more And so did I In the fall of the cold snow December on my mind The first to be exact Now here I am I feel like I'm leaving In the snow On the mountain laurel
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Elijah. Thank, thank you, you, everybody else. Can we take a second to, to introduce everybody here? Absolutely. That's Stu. SR. Oh, my gosh. That's Stu. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Off to a bad start. <laughs> That's Lewis over there on the lab steel. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. That's Stu on the guitar. All right. Some, they, <laughs> they look the same to me. I don't know. <laughs> That's Alex back there. All right. That's Sosha. And that's Drew. All right. Cool. Well, you sound great together. Uh, thanks for bringing this to the tape library today and, uh, and playing here, especially on show day. I would imagine there's a whole lot going on for you guys. Um, this is awesome. We're really happy to be here. Um, can we so you mentioned a li that this that first song is a little bit, little chunk of every other song on the record. Can you talk about the the overall inspiration for this for this record? Absolutely. I it's so it's on the Mountain Laurel Road. Mountain Laurel Road is the road I grew up on up in the Catskill Mountains. Um, and I wrote the record. It started with I was saying goodbye to my grandfather who was passing away, and the whole process of sort of being with him till the very end and and understanding and learning about it and, and just going through that experience. At the same time, my childhood home on the Mountain Laurel Road was was being sold. So I was also going through the house and going through all of the stuff in my, my bedroom growing up. And it was sort of this very like spiritual and nostalgic experience that I've never had before in my entire life and hit with two sides of it. It was very intense. So kind of like just trying to figure out all these emotions and figuring out how to deal with them, I made this record. And every song is about some nostalgic thing in my life or something that I was going through or some experience or conversation I was having with my grandfather. Can you tell us about which which slice of nostalgia this upcoming song is about? This is Tell Him. And actually, this is this is one of the conversations I had with my grandfather. I was spending a lot of time with him at the very end of his life. And... Uh, I, he was here in the city and he was at like a special place where he was spending some time and uh, I was up in his room with him just having a conversation and he was trying to explain so much. He was trying to explain all of these different things and thoughts and dreams he was having, but he couldn't really articulate them. And he was just, he kept, he kept saying like, I'm in a hotel and this is, I don't know how to check out. So I, I went home that night and was kind of, I kept those thoughts in my mind and dreamt about them and I wrote Tell Him, which is about that experience and that conversation. Yesterday came and went Am I dreaming of a place That I'm leaving All I know is gone Now here I am in a bed In the city up above Where you left me
you Thank you so much. Yeah, man. Um, can we talk a little bit about? So you you wore almost, if not every, literally every single one of the hats in the in the recording process of this as as producer, as as engineer, as everything. Uh, can we talk a little bit about? I mean, I would imagine on the on the plus side that you've got granular control of literally everything that's happening, but on the on the downside, that's a whole lot of work to wear all those hats. Can you talk a little bit about that? The balance between the the pros Absolutely. and cons. Yeah. Well, I should say. <laughs> It was mixed and mastered by Trevor Fidelli, who's a good friend, my college roommate. Uh, we do a lot of collaboration together. Um, so he kind of saved it. But I <laughs> I didn't, you know, I started the record kind of just as, like like I was saying before, just as, just for myself, just like on my laptop, in my room, not really thinking about uh, an end product. I didn't realize it would be an album. So I wasn't really thinking about, like, how I was going to do it in a studio or how I was going to have other musicians on it or a producer. Um, so that just kind of kept coming and kept growing throughout the process. I had never engineered or produced a record before. So I just sort of took everything that I kind of knew and uh, just, yeah, made a bedroom record. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Does that, does that answer your question? Yeah, dude, that's a great answer to that question. That's <laughs> specifically the answer to the question that I asked, and I like it. Awesome. Um, cool. Can we? Uh, can you tell us what the uh, what the story is? The next uh, the story is behind the next song. Yeah, it's Wilson State Park. It's a a song. Where's my capo? Hmm. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's and a song. Cheers too, man. It's nice to have uh, some some midday drinking pals, oh, yeah. making me feel better about my own uh, midday. Game. <laughs> yeah, I think the, I think this is from Cooperstown, right? That's right. It is Cooperstown. Yeah, I. Uh, that's kind of upstate. I've been wanting to go to that venue <laughs> and to that brewery. Cheers, everyone. If you're watching from your desk job. Should have been a musician. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You've just won you've just won the sponsorship for us, man. They are gonna be absolutely stoked. <laughs> well done. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wilson State Park is a park up in the Casco Mountains where I'm from. Uh, learned how to ride my bike there. Had basically every single birthday party I've ever had. Um, so much has happened there. Uh, and I just, a couple of years ago when I was writing that song, thinking about, it was like winter becoming spring, and I was just was thinking about the flowers blooming and kind of went to this place of just sitting in the park as a child, learning about everything in life. And yeah, it made me feel super nostalgic and warm and fuzzy. And mm -hmm. last night we actually played in Woodstock at this place called The Colony. And it was cool to be so close to the park and kind of be in that neighborhood. And yeah, it was cool. Like every single song is named after something upstate. So it was just like, this song's about a place two miles that way. And this song is about something up the road. So the song's called Wilson State Park.
disappeared So let's go Now you know I just don't know what to wear Disappear, so let's go. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. All right. Thank you, Elijah. Thank you. Thank everybody for coming by and doing this and have a great show at Union Pool. It's at tonight at eight o'clock and um, all of the details for future tour dates are going to be up. The face, your Facebook is the best resource for that. So they'll be up as they're announced and best of luck on on the mountain Laurel Road. It exists and as of late it exists in physical form and vinyl form right now. So uh, congratulations on that. And guys, have a great show tonight. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Thank you.